Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I find myself with two Syrahs from uh, uh, both from the Southern Hemisphere, but um, really, apart from the fact that they're the same grape variety, uh, not all uh, that much in common. Uh, column? Column. Common. Uh, first one is uh, from Argentina, second one is from New Zealand. First one's from a big company, second one's from a small company. Um, but they may have things in common. I'm, am I just waffling? Shall I just get into the wines? Probably a good idea, Simon. So, first one, Trivento, uh, which is the Argentine offshoot of um, Conchitoro. Uh, the uh, Chilean uh, behemoth is probably slightly unfair, because uh, I think it's one of the, uh, it's, it's a big, is beautiful type of uh, operation. I wish, would that all countries that made wine had a, uh, their largest um, company making such uh, high quality wines. And over the, um, over the Andes in Argentina, they've also been doing a pretty good job there. So, uh, Trevento from the Three Winds, Polo, Zonda and Sudesta. 13.5% um, alcohol, uh, six months in American oak. Dig in. There's a slight juicy, confected character there. Uh, berries, uh, yeah, red berries rather than black berries. Uh, it doesn't smell like it's going to have a massive depth of flavour. Um, and it, well, it's 2015, it's, it's a year and a bit old. Uh, it smells like one of those where sometimes people expect uh, Syrah stroke Shiraz to be uh, quite big and galumphing, but that's not what the grape often wants to do. Uh, I know there are some places uh, uh, in, uh, in Argentina, I think they've planted Shiraz in some places that's a little bit too warm sometimes. Uh, and it may be that with this wine they're trying to go for something that's uh, slightly more subtle. Anyway, better taste it. So you've got that juicy, warm, slightly jammy berry character. Um, I like the freshness of it. I'm not so sure about that, uh, uh, that jammy edge. And then uh, in, in terms of the oak impact, that American oak is just giving this slightly uh, coconut, toasty vanilla edge to it. It's good, and it, as I say, it's got, it's got that refreshing edge, but it's on the simple side. It's, it's okay, but um, it's not something that I'm going to jump up and down and say it's fabulous. But... It's competent wine, I think it's about eight quid, and it probably often on uh, reduction, uh, so you get it for about six quid, so um, worth pretty decent grog at that price. Second wine, um, so this is um, still the Southern Hemisphere, but this is from New Zealand, and it is Elephant Hill Syrah from Hawke's Bay, 2013, and um, I think same level of alcohol, 13, about 13.5%. Let's see whether this is elephant by name, elephant by nature. And it's got that classic Hawke's Bay, uh, light, fresh, um, peppery, blackberry character. It smells like it's gonna be uh, a more complex wine than, uh, than, than the Trevento. Uh, sometimes my concern with, with Hawke's Bay is they have these lovely aromas, uh, with, with Syrah in Hawke's Bay, they have these lovely, lovely aromas, but then the wine, you almost, there's a little bit in the middle that's not quite there. It's all about the perfume, but not about the, uh, uh, the flavour. So let's see whether that's the case here. And that does have the depth. It's got um, quite a lot of grip, quite a lot of grippy tannin. Um, and this uh, black pepper, there's a really spicy character there. Uh, the blackberries, a bit of black currant, even a little bit of, um, I was gonna say apple. Uh, but the, the persistent thing that's coming back is this pepper, spice, and blackberry and ripe blackberry, not, uh, not mushy blackberry. Um, and I think as that gets older, there's a slightly smoky element uh, that's there. And I don't know if it's from oak or it, if it's from uh, um, some characteristic that's in, in the soil, the way in which they're making it. Maybe the use of, um, if you use grape stalks, instead of like taking all the grapes off the stalks when you're doing the fermentation, if you leave some of those in, sometimes you get this smoky, stalky character. It's a far, uh, well, it, 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 it's weird because it's lighter in color. Uh, but it's um, it's got um, it's probably not quite as full bodied as the Trevento, but it's full of flavour, much full of flavour. Lots more layers going on there, uh, lots more potential for um, uh, development in the future. It's pretty good now, and there's no crime to uh, uh, to take the cap off now. But um, I'd really like to see that in about five years' time because I think uh, it will be pleasantly surprising. It's pretty good today. It's easy.